Okay, welcome to video three of Indie Resources, Ajax, and um, JavaScript tutorials. Um, basically, we're going to jump right into this on the net map. If you remember in index in index.php, this is one of the first scripts it calls for, and this is where all of the basically the action happens. Um, if, if you look in index, it calls net player or netmap.js but whenever the body loads it calls for travel every two seconds so and if you notice once we get into travel that's the first thing that pulls up the first function whenever you're including a javascript you don't need any kind of header it's just straight up code um, so let's start with the travel and this is where our ajax start i'm gonna go ahead and tell you this part this this stuff right in here don't get too fanatical about trying to figure out what it means because you're just gonna burn yourself out pretty quickly um, I'm going to go through a quick explanation of it, but the important stuff is down here. The importance, this important stuff is where you make all your changes. Here is probably never going to change for you. Basically what it's doing is I'm creating a new variable called Ajax request. What we're doing is it's because, if you notice here, Opera and Firefox, and we have Safari, and then you have users with Internet Explorer, and of course Internet Explorer is the one browser that's got to be different. Um, being that you're going to have two different users, you need to, the, the requests are different. Um, these guys use this kind of request while Internet Explorer uses this kind of request um, so basically what it's doing is and then there's also depending on your version you can be using a, you know even this type of request so what this is doing is, is it says try this if this fails catch error then try this and if that fails try this and if that fails after all that then you just alert it and say look your browser stinks you can put whatever you want here but the only time that's ever gonna ever gonna happen to you is if you're using like IE IE6 or something, Internet Explorer, like maybe even five. I don't. Even, I think six even works. So, it'd be, you'd have to have a really cruddy browser before you would break this, and it wouldn't work. And really, you don't want somebody with that old of a browser playing your game because they're just going to be trouble anyway. But um, so let's let's move on past that. The first thing we're going to do is we're doing Ajax request dot on ready state change. Um, Ajax basically has four important states. Um, the four, fourth is the last, and so that's why we're going to skip it. And this is in the wrong order, but it's actually in the right order. So um, let's go down to the to the first real request and Ajax request dot open. When when the request becomes open, and just to give you a quick rundown of Ajax because people get the wrong idea about what Ajax is. Um, Ajax isn't really a, isn't really this this wonderful thing. I mean, it, it's great, but it's not really what you, what it seems to be. All Ajax does is it goes on your server and pulls a PHP page. Because if you notice on your normal PHP pages, that's how you you just you, you write a query and you query the database, and you only get to do it once, and then you have to refresh the page, right? With Ajax, it goes in on the server side, pulls that PHP page, and does the query right there on your server. The thing is, it's just a standard PHP page is all it's doing. It's just pulling a page. It's just like you opening up a page. The, the difference is, is the client or the, the yeah the client never sees, never actually pulls the page. This, it's all done on the servers. They they don't see it. We have to send the, the data that comes off that server and send it to um, the player. We do that by echoing out, printing it out, and collecting that data. And I'll, we'll, we'll kind of go from there. But so we're doing a git method, and we're we're going to do git map.php. And and if you notice on index, I've I created the, where the player's map was, which is woods, and I turned that into a variable, and then its name. And basically, all we're doing is we're doing a git to pass that to this git map. So if we go to git map, this is this is all the data that's going to run. Um, we're doing a connect. We're we're getting the the data. And then we're just doing a um, one thing I want to say on this. You can these consider this like a zone, and this the map in the zone. You guys are going to want to uh, eventually turn this into a dynamic variable to where, depending on where the player's at, like they could be an A1, A2, A3, then it's a different table. That way you could have, you know, 50 players in one table and 50 players in the other table, and it's not the same table getting hit all the time, and it's a totally different zone. So you want to divide your zones up and. If you don't understand, maybe we'll, we'll go through another tutorial and or come to the forums and ask. But that's something eventually you'll want to change there. So anyway, we're pulling, and we already know our player. Let's 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 go with Halls. We already know that he is on the woods. So basically, it's going to select everything from the woods um, map because it's just that one map. So we want everything that's in there. <clears throat> For we're going to consider every every clickable object on the map as a player or every object that gets placed on the map as a player so for everything that's there we're gonna make it players plus one next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna echo out um, 
everything that's on there. So what it's going to do is it's going to echo out the tag. It's going to put a, a slash there. It's going to echo, echo out the item or the icon. It's going to put a slash and it's going to continue to do that. And then it's going to come down here. If the name equals name, in other words, if it's the player that we're on right now, then the player tag equals that tag. Because we want to say, okay, the player's here. This is the, its tag. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to split it again with a, with a question mark player tag and then split it split it again with players amount of players. So if we go back to netmap and that's just being echoed out, that whatever is being echoed out on that page, the player the the player will never see. This is all done on the server, but Ajax turns it into an actual request. It's called Ajax request dot response text. What response came back? That's whatever is echoed out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up when when Ajax come back and says, okay, I'm done. Here's the data. It it goes into ready state four. When it when it gets there, then this function starts, or basically this if starts. Um, <clears throat> create a variable, create the blink tag. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna tell you about this in one minute, but we're gonna come back to that because there needs to be a change there. But what I'm doing with that data is is I'm creating a variable called player amount, and then we're gonna split that by a question mark. Now, if you notice, we had two question marks, so that makes three parts of data, three three sections of data. We're cr basically creating an array. 0, 1, and 2, because remember all rays start with 0. The, the 0 is going to be all of this for this first one, so it's going to be have all these tons of data of every single item. The second split, or, or array 1, is going to have the player's tag, and then array 3 is going to have the, the amount of players that's in there. <clears throat> now, to jump on this real quick, basically, if a player if you don't go through and delete everything per request when you move that old image is going to be there it's going to stay because nothing told it to delete it's just adding new images so what I done and I'm, I cannot tell you if this is going to be fast or slow you may want to go in and create an array that shows all the players that were in other words it collects all the everything that was on the map from the last request only and then goes through and only deletes those but what I'm doing is I'm going through all the divs which actually looks like I'm a short I'm supposed to be 629 but and I'm just making the inner HTML equal nothing, so it deletes the image. Being this is on client only, it's probably going to work all right. It's probably going to be pretty fast, so I wouldn't even worry about it. You could leave it like this, but if you see slowdown because of that, or people complain of that, you can change that to an array to where it only deletes what's needed. But I just delete the whole page. Um, so that's all that is right there. That's all that's doing. Now to come back to this, not that I've confused you enough on that. Um, so anyway, we split it. We split it into three. Now we're going to take net players, and we're going to do that player amount zero, that that very first that had all the map data, and we're going to split it by every single one of these um, slashes. And it actually looks like I'm running out of video time, so we're going to catch the rest on the next video.